Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where last time we built this thing, our very own NASCAR stock car. It turns out the car is so insanely quick, we managed to break the entire game. I, I highly doubt that'll happen today because we're working on something much, much slower. I should be clear, I've actually got two different options that I can choose from. I'm kind of just hoping that one of them pops up today. <gasps> it spawned in here. No way. No way. My first time ever. But say hello to the BMW M3. Yo, 24,000 for a BMW M3 that looks like this. Yo, you're joking, game. Let's purchase the M3. Okay, I don't know who in their right mind has built this thing. We're, mi we're missing a passenger door. It's all sorts of different colors. Definitely back in the day, this thing was like a drift missile. How freaking cool. It's even got a little i6 in there. We might end up swapping that into a V8. I'm not actually sure just yet. It's actually not in that bad of condition, like considering we found it abandoned in a barn. But I think I still want to get this thing back up to 100% condition across the board. For the moment, let's strip the thing down. Headlights, front bumper, front end, all of it has got to go. Before I catch tetanus, bring over the welder, please. I need to make this car look a little bit better. Use equipment, clean the boy up. Oh, oh, look at that blue paint. That looks so good. And let's clean up the interior as well, 100 bucks. You know what? I think we got to get rid of this engine. We know it's not going to stay in there anyway, so we might as well get rid of it now. All right, there we go. Engine is all gone, and this car... Oh, I knew I missed a part of the body. It is already looking better. Yo, so many people in Twitch chat are saying this has to be... A V10 M3. I like the idea. For the moment, though, we'll just focus on ripping all of this suspension out. And then we will figure out what engine we're going to be running in here. And just like that, the rear suspension, all gone. Fantastic. At this point, I'm legitimately starting to get... What the? <laughs> Radiator last thing that's coming out of the car. And I think with that... There we go. 1% on each. Car value, three grand. See, that's more like it now. Anyway, since everything's actually in such good shape, I'm going to try repairing all of it. See if we can save some money and not end up buying more parts for this car than we need to. Now that we've stripped down this entire car, we can decide what engine we want to swap in. Unfortunately, there's no V10 in the list. So I think we're going to have to go with a V8, which kind of also work. I will be honest, I kind of like the idea of a twin turbo V8 or a Coyote V8 from a Mustang. Which chat is saying they want a twin turbo V8? Okay, I like the idea of that. Good call, Twitch. I found it! V8 twin turbo DOHC from a Maserati Quattroporte. Let's go! Thank you for saving me time. I've said it time and time again. Can we please get the ability to purchase crate engines in this game? That's actually a good point somebody brings up in Twitch chat. What about the addition of electric cars in this game? I didn't even think of that before, but that would be so cool. Oh no, my V8 is sitting the wrong way. Okay, don't pay attention to that. I think we might have a slight problem with this car. Hold on a second. Part mount, if I get the gearbox on... Yep, just, that's a custom gearbox. Okay, so I'll even be able to tune my gears now. Yes, I can get my drive shaft in. Oh, thank the Lord and Savior. Dale Earnhardt Jr., thank you so much. Pretend that that drive shaft attaches on both sides, okay? The drive shaft kind of crashes in to one of my turbos, but... It's just how you go faster. So the engine is in. It just has no suspension right now. Okay. You know what? We should also probably do some mods to this engine. So, you know what? Let's bring it down. Oh, I can get a new turbo. Yes. 100%. Let's do that. So I have no idea how much horsepower this engine had before. 
but I think after all of the mods we're about to do to it, I think it's gonna be a lot. Upgraded twin turbos, 7.5 extra horsepower or 7.5% extra horsepower each one turbos let's get those installed jeez those just look aggressive on there i'll take my 0.6 percent upgrade thank you even an intake manifold plus 7.5 percent throttle plus three percent each side we're done with like the performance parts let's get back to like the normal stuff so I need right away a new fuel tank, please. Now I guess we can work on our suspension. Rubber bushings aplenty. Let's go. Twitch chat's predicting like 800 horsepower out of this car. That's a lot. I, I don't think we'll hit 800, but I'll be pleasantly surprised if we do. We're already done one side. That's crazy fast there. Look at that. That is some sweet looking suspension on there too. Yo, I, I legitimately think this is going to be the fastest build we've done. Now we've got to do the front suspension, which is going to be a little bit more difficult considering we've got an engine in the way. Yo, you know what would be really cool in this game too? I'm just saying, car mechanic simulator. Where's the ability to tune my camber in this game? Tuning that like, that front like shock absorber there. Apparently, I was told that they're working on a VR version of this game. That would be really cool. I'm pretty sure now we are finished. We just need to get our new wheels on and then all of the body panels and we're done. Let's see what size wheels we had on here before. So we had 325, actually they were the same size all around. So 325, 30, R18, okay. Don't really know how much horsepower we're gonna have. I guess let's go race tires right off the bat and we'll see how those go we've got one for test fitting purposes let's see how these rims fit on the car keep in mind we have some body mods to do but that looks so <laughs> okay maybe that's a little big May maybe i went a little bit much on the aggressive we'll, we'll see with the body mod what's the betting i haven't built this properly and the car doesn't even turn on i think it's oh you Stupid car. 780 horsepower. It turns out, I think we're about to have a thousand horsepower BMW E36. Let's see with those twin turbos. Let's see what we've got. A thousand one hundred horsepower nearly. Before we get this thing over to paint and before we do our test drive, we need to get our body mods back installed. What about our front bumper? Front bumper, we have two different options, A or B. A looks like this, and I'm pretty sure that's bone stock. I like that one. It shows off the inner cooler. And we can toss on a front end as well. We've got A, B, C, D for this one. Look at these. These have like no grill. That doesn't even look like a BMW anymore. Okay, we can have a silver surround or a black surround. I like the black. You can never go wrong with a black surround. That looks pretty sick. Headlights, headlights. I always like going for a black one. Let's go with them. Oh, that looks clean. And this is where things get a little bit more interesting because obviously we've got the normal BMW fenders. Those aren't going to fit our car. We, we've got these ones as well. That is our Rocket Bunny kit on there. And that is the Fitment that i'm talking about look at that for aggression trunk we've got a couple of different options we've got normal bmw with the bmw m3 logo debadged m3 or completely debadged rear i think you gotta flex on your friends and let them know you got an m3 toss that one on rear clamshell no way we've got a couple different rear wings as well we've got normal bmw rear wing big old rear yo that's a forza rear wing 100 percent forza rear wing or we've got a nice little rear lip uh, wait wait this car model is from forza move the car over to paint now twitch chat you guys decide the color what do we want to do with this i think we can do purple purple's not too bad I like me a good purple car. Purple in-game looks so sweet. Okay, well, time to go and give this thing our first little test drive. For some reason, my car looks blue now. And I'm not really sure why. Let's see what it's like to drive. Yo, that V8 though. When it's not redlining, it actually sounds kind of good. 
and a thousand horsepower on race tires. There we go. Now we're putting down the power. <gasps> Drifting at 200 kph. Jeez, the whole car just snapped. But I was able to hold it like a goddamn champion. I, I think we have to put racing slicks on this thing. Let's go back to the garage. We might even make them just a little bit thicker to give us a little bit more grip. So three. 55. We're definitely going to have some tire poke on these, but I think it might be worth it. We have no offset now. <gasps> Those are perfect. I, I just really hope they fit the front bumper as well. I think they're not going to, but I think it's worth it in the name of grip and no more drifting. Let's see. <gasps> they even fit. I mean, that's, that's a bit aggressive on the front, but we can deal with that. All right, let's see. No! Stop! Stop drifting! How is that possible? On tires this big. But look at my front! Maybe we just need to, like, throttle control. Nope! Nope! Dead. Maybe it's really good in a straight line. I think next time we build a car in this game, I think we specifically have to say, no performance mods. Because every time we do it, we end up just doing burnouts everywhere we go. Major amounts of throttle control off the line. I'm still at like 50%. Now we're up to 100% throttle. Nope, I can't turn. Can't turn. And I've written off the BMW already. Why do I only have five gears? Attempt number two, lots of throttle control again. We now have like eight gears in the BMW. We, we can go all the way up to 2000 kilometers an hour. So let's see. We're up to six, 4,000 RPM. Still accelerating. Please just touch 400 kilometers an hour. Please. We're so close. 15, 390. That's the wall. 395, 396. Come on. Yes. 400, 406 kilometers an hour. Yo, you guys are saying that's 250 miles an hour? That's, that's honestly not bad. Let's send it around the racetrack. Let's see if it's not going to spin its wheels everywhere. No throttle control. Just rip it. Okay. Okay. It turns out when you get on the brakes in this game, your car just spins out. No, it's not. It's not terrible. No, it's terrible. Legitimately, this thing is undrivable around a racetrack. Anytime. No. Anytime it gets in the boost. It tries to kill you. That's the best thing it can do is it can clip into the wall and I guess do fun things. Okay. Well. On that bombshell. It, it's time to end.